Hi, my name's Dan, and this video is one of a series of videos on using vectors in Unreal. Uh, in this particular video, I'm going to focus on two concepts that have very similar names, but are only slightly related to each other, and that is normalized vectors and normal vectors. So, um, yeah, I'll explain them as we go along. Let's actually do something. So, uh, we've got a third-person template here. And I've created uh, three little blueprint classes. So the first one to focus on is this tower. Okay, I'll just show you what's in there. It's just got a cylinder. Um, and it has a variable of type uh, BP ball, which is one of the others. Maybe I should be thinking that first. So it has a reference to a ball. Um, this here, the second one then, is the VP ball. And all this is, is a sphere with some, uh, a nice glowy texture on it. Uh, nothing else added there. And it's just as a visual indicator, but it looks quite uh, cute. And the third one I've got here is a, um, I've called it a mirror. It's not really a mirror. Uh, you'll see when we come to it what we're doing. Uh, but it's got glass at the front and a kind of stony thing at the back. Um, and that again has, um, so it's just a couple of cubes that have been changed uh, to create that. And that also has a reference to a ball. So both the mirror and the tower have reference to a ball. And that's the mirror's ball. Sorry, the tower's ball. That's the mirror's ball. So what we're going to do with the tower is we're going to use a normalized vector to create a particular effect. And what we're going to do is this ball here is going to float somewhere near the tower, but it will always be at a position where it's effectively pointing towards the player, but at a fixed distance away from the registration point of the tower, which is near the top just up here. Okay. So at the moment it's slightly below. It hasn't been, uh, it's just been positioned in space to as a, as a starting position. So, um, let's get into it. So we're in the tower, and uh, so what we need to do, if we're going to have this ball so that it's pointing in the direction of the player, is we need to know the vector that is between the, uh, the tower and the player. And we did this when we did uh, vector subtraction, and when we did relative vectors. Um, so, uh, get player character. I'm going to find the position of the character. Uh, get location. Uh, so, get back to location, of course. I think I'd know by now, I use these often enough. Uh, get back to location. Uh, the tower itself. So the relative vector between uh, two points or bet between two position vectors is um, the destination so, uh, minus the source. Uh, so if you want to find the, the relative vector from A to B, that's B minus A. And we're going from, uh, from the tower to the player. So we need player minus tower. But what we don't want is for this ball to be actually at the location where the player is. We just want to be, we want it to be at a fixed distance from that registration point of the pole um, and pointing in the direction of the player. So we've got the direction here. And what we're going to do with this vector is normalize it. Um, that means we're going to take the direction, but we're going to shrink it down or expand it out if it needs to be so that it's a unit length, which means a length of one. Um, and we're going to use the um, the function normalize to do that. It's got a, a little tolerance in here. Generally speaking, you don't really need to worry about that. You can just leave that as it is. Um, so that should produce a unit length vector, otherwise known as a normalized vector, um, in, the, in the same direction. 
And then, of course, we want it at a fixed direction, so we don't want it just at 1, we want it a bit further out. So we're going to multiply that by a certain amount. So vector times flows, and I'm going to just do about 200. So that's 2 metres away from the pole. Um, so is that what we want? Well, no, that's the vector, the relative vector now from the pole to the uh, uh, pole to the ball, which is in the direction of the player, but the actual f uh, absolute position vector in space can be found by adding that to the position vector of the uh, of the pole itself. So we just need to add those two together. It doesn't matter which order we do addition in. Remember, and um, so I'm just going to add on that that's the, the position of the pole itself, and then we're going to set the balls. Location. So this is the reason why the ball is a uh, is a has become a variable here, uh, so we can get easy access to it to do this set location. So we're just doing this out of the event tick, so that it's going to constantly update and be pointing uh, or be positioned in the right place. So let's give that a try. Right, and that ball. So we're looking at this the ball that's up there by the pillar, and we can see that it's moving around as the player moves around. Um, and in fact, there's an effect of doing this because the ball has got a blocking collision on it, and so has the player. Actually, this is acting as a guard, and it means that the player cannot get to that pole in any way, shape, or form. The ball is constantly blocking them, a bit like a, um, somebody blocking a goal in basketball or something like that. Okay, so that we achieve that using a normalized vector. Normalization of a vector means taking a vector and changing it so that its length is one. So all the uh, the useful information that you're getting out of that is the direction. Um, and there's a, there's a lot of vectors that are normalized vectors which are very useful. So the other thing we're going to do uses a normal vector. Uh, so a normal vector is a vector that describes a surface uh, by uh, having a vector that is perpendicular to the surface. So if you imagine this floor that we're looking at here, the normal vector for the floor is straight up. So it's perpendicular to all of the surface. It's sticking straight out. It's, if you want, it's the wave and the direction, the direction that the... Um, uh, that the surface is facing. Okay. So we're going to use um, a normal vector on this mirror here uh, in order to create a reflection vector, which then is where we're going to put this ball. And so what will happen is this ball will uh, move in a symmetrical fashion, mirroring the movement of the player. Uh, so as we move uh, this way, it will move in this direction. As we move closer, it will move closer. Um, so let's get into that. Uh, that's what we want to do. That's what we want to do. Right. So uh, the first thing we want is a vector from the player to the mirror. So if you remember, finding um, a vector from one thing to another thing is uh, from A to B. It's B minus A. And so in this case, our B is the mirror. Uh, so gets. So, location. And we want the vector for the player as well. Um, so, get player character and then drag off and get character location. Uh, and it's this minus this. So, this gives us a vector which is pointing to the mirror the direction of the mirror from the player. And we're going to want to reflect this and to create a reflection as if it was bouncing off the mirror. Uh, so uh, we're going to need a normal vector, but first of all, let's get the, the node up. Uh, reflect. Get reflection vector. Uh, there we are. And um, so we need the surface normal. Now, uh, this object has been set up the mirror has been set up so that the forwards uh, attitude of the object is the normal vector that we're looking for. 
Um, and so we can actually get that from the rotation uh, information of the object. So get vector rotation. And if we split this into axes, um, so break is the word we want. Break rot into axes. This gives us three vectors. Uh, so the first one is the forwards vector of the object. Uh, the y is a right-hand sideways vector of the object, and the z is the upwards vector of the object. Effectively, it's the local axes of the object. Um, and this is the one that we want. Now, it so happens that x, is, uh, the x, y, and z are all normalized. So that means that they're unit length vectors. And in fact, this is where the word normalized comes from, is to make a vector unit length is because it's so common to use uh, normal vectors that are of a unit length for various things. Um, so we're going to take that normal vector and put it in there as the surface normal. Okay. So that gives us uh, the result vector will give us the vector from the mirror to the ball. But of course, that's not its abs absolute location in space. We're going to need to add on the location of the mirror to add those two. Uh, to get it in the right place. So that's better. And we've already got the location, which is in there. And then we're going to uh, want a reference to the ball and set up to location. And plug that in. So, all being well, Bob's your auntie, this should be working. So we'll our balls over that. As we move towards it, it moves so it's, it's acting in a reflected fashion. So because um, that ball goes down when we go up and vice versa, it's not actually giving us quite the reflective behaviour that we're wanting to, to get, uh, which gives me an excuse to show you another way of doing reflections. Again, it's using a normal vector. Um, so uh, we're going to go back into here. And uh, instead of using this get reflection vector, we're going to use um, mirror vector by normal. Okay. So what this gives us an output vector is effectively the mirror image as if the surface were a mirror and we were looking at the reflection in the mirror. So in this case, it will be uh, behind. Let's show as, as I'm here. Is here the ball will be behind the mirror over here actually inside this block here. As the player moves this way, it will move this way. So using the um, using the surface as if it was a huge mirror stretching across the whole of the uh, the whole of our little level here. So back in. But there's uh, one small wrinkle with this is that it expects the input vector to be in the opposite direction, to be out from the mirror to the object that you're trying to reflect. So all we need to do to get that, to invert that vector, is to swap those two around in the minus. And we can use that x there as the in normal, um, add that, as before, to the location of the mirror itself. So here's my ball, and if I try and get past my ball, it's going up with me and down with me in the same way. Uh, so if that's the kind of behaviour you're after, then uh, this is the, the mode to use. And effectively, this is now acting as a guard. I can't get to the back half of the, the level because the, of that mirrored ball. Um, and with the, with the guard, I can't get to the pole either. Uh, so my player is quite restricted. So we've done using um, a normalized vector for the ball on the pole, which is over here. And we've used a normal vector from this surface here uh, to make it act like a, a mirror and have an object that's mirroring me. And that's it from me for now. Mm -hmm.